And welcome back to Punch Card, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Marmoset. We have a fight. It's an ultimate one. I am probably not going to take it. We're going to skip this one because we're just a bit too beat up. We just don't have... We're at 49% of our in-fight HP. That's just not a good idea. A couple fights we've last been done. We've been running very low on energy. Now, strength does affect your energy use and your damage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this atrophy. And we're just going to focus on these two. So keep that... Nice, nice. We'll basically do a 193 build for a bit. Um, in the interim, we're out of food, which means we need to go to work. Hey, Casey. It's popular. Yep, should be tasty. Alright, so this is going to be me getting my ass kicked to me by a turtle again. So this is Bill. Bill's going to absolutely own me. Um, what one is it I've not got in? Uh, it's unstoppable. So Bill's going to kick my ass because he's a uh, ninja, teenage ninja crocodile. Alright. I'm going to rescind my earlier pessimism and wait until we run out of energy and then return to being pessimistic. Or make my pessimistic condition on us running out of energy. Because right now we're winning. Our DPS is just flat out higher than his at the moment. I don't quite know how we managed to do this because last time you owned me. Was that before I put some points and got some, our uh, stamina up a bit? Come on, keep this up, punch shot. You can do this. I have... I didn't believe in you previously, I believe in you now. You're going to beat the Kirtle. One more hit. I believe you can get him on a counter-attack. There we go. Down goes the down goes Bill. That gave us a nice chunk of mood. Nice big hit points as well. That was a good fight. Beat Bill. Okay. Beat more. How many ninja crocodiles are there? I don't think we necessarily got paid for that. Alright, anyway, I'm here to deliver pizza for a bit. Make sure I get up the 90 quid, and then we will be going shopping for meat. Because that's all the punch shard lives on is meat and protein bars. I think you can even actually buy vegetables. Let's run this down until he says he's too tired to work. Hopefully we've got a tick. Yeah. Perfect. Grocery store. Oh great. A mugger. Hey, what are you staring at? <laughs> <laughs> without your front teeth. You're a 152, so you're a dirty base like me. Our hit points are pretty similar. You've got fast reaction, increased energy chance of dodge, but your actual moves are punch, kick, block. Alright, so you've got a, a dodge modifier, but you can't actually dodge. Alright, well, say hello to my reign of strikes. Alright, hit me with a combo 10, that's fine. So there's a thinking phase and there's an attack phase. This is of 20, so we are probably going to win. It's going to take a while. Kit, Pudge Eye, would you hurry up and just kick the man? Apu is kind of busy. He's trying to fix this, um... <laughs> These guys outside paying no attention whatsoever. Miss, miss, miss. More punchings. Well, trading blows on this one. This is a very similar build to us, I suppose. But Rob is going down very soon. Imagine this may be an achievement for knocking someone out with a counter attack. So we lost a little bit of health, we gained a bit of mood, but our mood was already pretty good. We didn't get any skill points. Prevention of crime. <laughs> Proud of you. Mighty warrior? I don't necessarily think so. Interesting. Um, 
here to fill my fridge up with meat. Probably buy a couple pizzas as well. I can't just generically talk to you. I just, the, only, the only interaction I have with you, Apu, is when I'm not saving your life or discussing other things, is buying things from you. It's an entirely commercial relationship. Anyway, what we need to do is head home and sleep. You can only have money for the bus. Nap time, punch chard. Gee, Gally. Oh, damn it. Day 52 ended. Sleep. Gee, Gally, pa. Are you sleeping, Punchard? You should be sleeping. Oh, good. We're going to be... That timed that well, didn't you, my uh, muscular and dense friend? Eat. Because that gets us 40 food back. Eat to meat. Yep, that's uh, that's all that. So health's at eighty four percent. I'd really love to try and get that up. When's our next fight? Rookie League fight is tomorrow. We're most of the way through this day. We are completely broke, so it's not that we'll be going training anytime soon. Um, let's just take the fight early in the day, and we'll burn the rest of today out with these. So we should get us back up to a three eight three in time for the fight. We've got plenty of time tomorrow. So just keep doing those until you're bored. Remember to use the other arm, Punch Jard. Not using the other arm, Punch Jard. Yep, so we gained. Lost more on the... So it appears the higher these are, the more you lose. We can't go below an 8. So let's run the clock all the way out on that. Yeah, I imagine you're all hot and grumpy, but we've got a fight to win. It's Kick Sloan, another defensive type character. Well, we've got Skip Attack, should we need it? Can't remember how well we did against this guy last time. One of these days, waiting and just like sitting around and watching TV for a large chunk of time just to let our HP fully recover. Come on, keep kicking him. Keep kicking him. Good, 11 point combo. Oh, there's 11 points with a single punch. I think one of the traits we've got is we just take more damage. So, wow, it's a nice bit of work there that we're getting. Uh... Oh, there goes the energy problem. Oh, we've got him down first though, which is nice. Here's the, good. Here's the big difference. We're knocking him out on energy, and rather than normally, previously without our stamina boost, with the increased stamina, this ticks up when he's sat down on his ass. Having stamina above 1 means you actually get some recovery kicks turning up here. That comes back up, which means we should got a little bit more energy. Come on, come on. So we actually got a combo of two on counter attack. I'm assuming there is probably. There we go. <laughs> um, I think he counter attacked himself down. Anyway, we're at the 21 skill points now. We've got ourselves a bit of cash heading for the gym. So we can pick up another one. I don't necessarily think there's anything we want over here. Is it long timer? What did you do? How did effects work for longer? Fast reactions. More dodge, but energy doesn't know. We're having energy problems. That's moving around town faster. But there's a training from that. Let's head over to Way of the Tiger. So we were looking at penetrating strike. So that's armor piercing. So that gets through blocks, whereas that is just flat out armor piercing. So penetrating strike is far superior to rain of strikes. Though we can swap them out depending on if we've got someone who's just blocking a lot. Rice heater, getting more agility benefit out of it. Cutthroat is a punch. I think we'll probably take technician and get that dodge chance up. So, at the moment, we've got wind flow dodge, I seem to remember. It seems less energy dependent, but it's very agility dependent. Alright, um, I 
interesting. I was hoping that would tell me what the percentage chance of it was, so I can actually run that number and tell how much of a benefit we're getting. 70% win rate is not too bad. Eaten four pizzas, apparently. I don't know why it keeps track of that. Sign up for that. So let's take Technician. Just make ourselves just that much more dodgy. Uh, I think we will probably be looking at Penetrating Strike. Next. It's cool headed do. Alright, so we do get blocked. We uh, have an energy reduction. Ooh, roundhouse kick. Below is a penalty block chant. Nice. Kick dropper. That's probably what we'll be looking at. There's just a lot of stuff on Way of the Tiger that I really do want. Ninjutsu fan. Nice. Mimic techniques. We'll look at these previously. Alright. Um, we've got enough money to head to the gym. We've got enough food and the rest of it. Our next. Uh, ultimate fight is tomorrow. So let's pay the entry fee. Um, so we're going to get the daily tick down, which is kind of annoying. And I think we're probably going to run out of food. But let's see if we can basically take the fight almost as soon as we can tomorrow. So in that case, let us jump on this one, which I think is an animal rounder. Let's see which ones you do. So I see a stamina boost. Yeah, so that's an all-rounder. We're going to sit on the all-rounders and just get ourselves up to a 383. Oh no, I was talking about changing that, wasn't I? I was thinking about letting that one decrease and just giving boosting stamina. So let's get on these. Let's skip rope. Trade off a little less damage for the fact that we will be um, having more energy available. So I think we'll go 184. So we're just going to let our strength decay back down to a 1. Training noises. Training noises. Alright. Also, just spending a bit more time getting that up is nice. Um, what was also? That was stamina and strength. That was everything. So, just run. And then we'll dash over here. Oh, you're hungry. Damn. Fine. We'll be leaving then. And heading back to the flat. Well, if we... Oh no, you're hungry so you can't work. There we eat. That actually produces some pretty good... Yeah, we're at 100% HP for the next fight. That's good, because it's going to be one of the more brutal ones. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that. We can't go back to the gym, actually. We have the cash. So we'll do that. Where'd you go? I need to get some food in the fridge. Uh, I clicked the wrong button there. Uh, so get back on the treadmill so you can get me up to an 8-4. So our target is at an 8-4. Once we are an 8-4, we'll take the fight. So this will go up. We'll get the, da we'll get the daily loss, which will probably bring us down to a 2-8-3. We have an ultimate fight today. Carry on on the treadmill until you are at 8-4. Done. I don't think I want to go up to a 5, but I wouldn't mind getting some more agility in before the day ends. If we can get ourselves a 2-9-4, that would be even better. Also nice when we had the magic potion running around on a 10, that was quite nice to see. So he's probably going to get bored of this. I don't know, he might not get too badly bored of it. We might get ourselves a 2-9-4 for 4, or even halfway through the day. 2-9-4 it is. Let's take that fight. Jürgen. 3-4-6. You've got armor specialist. And it uses up energy. That's a head buck. Alright, oh, oh, it does damage to block as well. This is 
bear hug. Alright, so you are all about the tanking. Wow, you really... You've got... What's this? You've got two modifiers that reduce the damage you take. But also increase your energy thing. So I wonder if your energy is high enough for those things. I wonder if we might actually, just by the fact that we keep kicking you and activating those. Is that headbutt? Do you actually headbutt me? No, you don't actually pay the headbutt. You try to go with the punch. Yeah, we're going to burn this guy out of energy, just by the fact he's rigged as a stamina specialist. He's actually going to struggle with energy against us, because he's burning through it um, because of the things he's got rigged. Alright, so he apparently, the AI, can drop things. So he's dropped his defensive measures trying to improve his energy loss. And you are all about the blocking. So let's drop the counterattack and bring in Skip, so that we occasionally take a breather. So we can take advantage of the energy de energy advantage we've got. Down he goes again. So every time he's out of energy. Right, now we're back up. And drop that one. And bring back our counter attack. See a 19. Him taking 7 points of self inflicted damage is good. Ah, good 18 punch. And we've got plenty of energy. We can take advantage of our increased energy to go back to a more aggressive tactic. Come on. There we go. Chad did attack himself. So he tried to headbutt me and just got bounced. So our move went up a bit. We took a fair bit of health point damage. Lead point went up. And you got the two. So you get cash for these ones, but not skill points. So they're obviously much more brutal fights. So we're here. So two fights in a row I don't necessarily think we'll be up for. But I do think a, a 194 is probably going to be a half decent um, rig. What's our accuracy at the moment? 1.8. Alright, so 294, 194 I think will do quite nicely. So when's our next fight? Two days, quite a few days. So we can probably spend a little bit of time um, working for the cafe and restocking the fridge. Actually, let's cancel. Let's get a... No thank you, very excellent. Uh, I don't think I'm just trying to avoid this two little hit points to... I mean we only... I mean yeah we beat Bill pretty well but I suspect his brother's going to be a damn sight harder. Um, I'm just going to bimble over here and talk to Proper of the Good Store. So it's 150 for a small punching bag. Interesting. I don't quite get what the advantage of having these things is. Alright, yeah, you, you flex that muscle. Given how cheap the gym is, and whenever it is where we're desperately short of cash, if you do ever need it, you can just go and get yourself a burger. Um, city map. Yep, travel to the cafe. We're going to deliver some pizza. Probably going to run out of. Become too tired after we do one tick. I suspect. But we'll just run it until we're exhausted. So here comes the day. We drop down. 284. Make as much progress as we can because it's stored before we next come up. I think we're going to be tired. Yeah, we're too tired. That's fine. City map. Grocery store. Greetings to you, my hero. Alright. I can try and fix that for you. That's neat. And we'll grab another pizza while we can. And then we will head back home. So, by foot now. Well, punch charts, sweet dreams, sweet dreams of lullabies. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. This has been Punch Club. Our hero is Punch Jard. He's a man 
There was a goldfish, a cat, an insatiable, insatiable desire for meat as he fuels his quest to become the greatest fighting man the world has ever known. Will he succeed? Most likely. We are making progress. I mean, a win rate of 70% means we are on the upside of it all. But as the man gently pats his cat, please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. Bye for now.